Hello everyone, welcome to the Adoran region. I'm your host, Adoran himself. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity already in progress. If you're wondering why all of us are just staring out into the abyss that direction, uh, you can check the playlist in the description down below. While you're down there, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do all those things you have to do when supporting a YouTube channel. We uh, successfully got through the dungeon that was causing me a lot of issues last time, and now we have an ice palace in front of us, the final dungeon, at least according to Umbreon, and an opportunity to really try and succeed in our endeavors. Uh, but before we can do anything, we need to uh, go this way, and we need to edit the party, and we need to get the final member of the team that we have not used, Espeon. And in fact, I'm gonna change up things here. So we're gonna switch this out. You can see how this works. I'm gonna take this. It's gonna magically disappear. I'm going to then magically make uh, Espeon appear out of nowhere any second now. Bam, there they are. Um, we're gonna change the movesets and all this sort of stuff. We can change your name, I know that. Um, Espeon. Great. And, uh, we'll change the moves and the levels once we actually know what level Espeon is supposed to be and what moves Espeon is supposed to have. Um, will you go ahead with this party? I think without further ado, let's jump into it. The Glacier Palace. The first floor here. Ooh, this is going to be one of those overworld floors. I like this. All right. Um, that means that there are going to be some wild Pokemon here and also probably going to be some sparkles that I can hopefully take advantage of. There's a, a Tortuga, right? You are not someone I'm worried about, I'll be honest. Uh, one quick leaf tornado and you are gone. Espeon grew to level 25. All right, good. That's exactly what we've got you as. Um, learn a new move, of course. Psybeam. Yes, absolutely. I don't use sand attack, so you can absolutely get rid of that. And learn Psybeam. And another move as well. All right. What do we got here? Future Sight. How does this work? It foretells an attack on the next turn. I mean, we might as well, right? Let's see. Quick Attack is two tiles away. This is in front. Swift Cut Corners. This one is... It just goes. Um, oh, gosh. I, and this one is special front target enemy, special front target enemy. I might actually get rid of confusion. Let's get rid of confusion. I think quick attack has some niche benefits, especially if there's two player teams. Um, Swift cuts corners, side beam is distance, future sight is just big boom. So I, I, I like this. All right. Learn Future Sight. Now let's get some massive stat bonuses as well. I'll be honest, let's be on this moveset. I like it a lot. I also realized Tortuga la lived the 100-something health attack that I did, right? Which uh, was not what I expected. All right, let's see what we can uh, adjust the movesets right here as well. So we got... Let's see what we got here. We got Quick Attack. Instead of Pursuit, we got Future Sight. Instead of Confuse Ray, we have Swift. And instead of Assurance, we have Psybeam. A fun moveset. Absolutely. It's not completely diverse, although nobody's is, really, if I'm, if I'm being honest. Uh, but it certainly is a fun one, because it's got distance, it's got a close attack, long attack, whatever Future Sight does, which I'm very interested to figure out. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any sparkles. There's another Tortuga. I, I really just want to find out, remind myself, how much does this do? Oh, okay, well, you're not a real one. That's rude. I will say the Zoras are not going to be great for our Espeon friend here. Um, but ideally, we can uh, succeed through it anyway. And speaking of succeeding through, let's go through. Now, the last dungeon actually was less, uh, less floors, so I'm hoping that the same can apply here, and it's not as many floors. All right, we can go up or down. Let's go down. There's a bunch of vile seeds around as well, which could be fun for future boss fights. There are holes and cre uh, crevices here as well. So that's not concerning at all, he says, knowing that it absolutely is. Ooh, Ponyard. Huh. We don't exactly have anything great for you, if I'm being honest. Um, what we can do is we can Leech Seed you, because you can be. Quick attack for the damage. Leer is fine. Bubble Beam from a distance by a Palpito. That's random. Uh, oh, snap. All right, this is a, a battle of distance attacks. 
All right, here's what I will do because I want to be safe here. I'm going to use the Orin Berry on Espeon now itself. And now hopefully this is a side beam from a distance once again. The bubble and return. I, I guess we can stall it out. See if we can get another one. There we go. Look at that. That's fun. And there are the stairs. All right. Are we going to switch back and forth between uh, reels and fakes? Uh, it does not look like it. Let's see. What are we looking at here? Not too many differences. All right. I'm going to see if we can... Oh, gosh. That would have been bad. Um, let's try Pursuit's not very effective, right? You're Steel-type. And Dark-type, actually, aren't you? Elite Seedia, Razor Shell... Scary face doesn't do much. We pursued for a little bit more. Down you go. Pursued upgraded. I'm level 21 now. That's great. And uh, we are getting ready to zoom on through with this. Let's go ahead and boost myself up as well on the uh, the screen here. 21. Perfect. Grab the box. Grab the blast seed. Gonna use that as soon as possible. Because it's... Uh, I don't expect it to be a, a like an all-star item. Oh gosh. Um, hold up, hold up. You can take it, right? Oh gosh, can you take it? I'm gonna have you eat that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out. Yeah, okay. Quick attack for big damage. Taunt, not really a big deal. Future sight. Um try that. And then future sight. I, I don't know if it does a lot of damage, because, of course, um, it's against a Dark-type. But I'll be honest, the move, uh, the, the look of the move was kind of fire, I'm not going to lie. Um, the the Fickle Ribbon, what is that? Using different moves boost, oh, so it's the opposite of the choice. Interesting. Uh, right. Rude. We'll bounce like this, we'll switch like that. Razor Shell, hit that. That's, again, very rude. And then the Aqua Ring as well. Um, let's go with the Tornado. Drop the Accuracy down a bit. Alright. Zora's down. Zora's down. And I can absolutely knock you out of the park. Look at that big damage that still didn't knock you out. Jeez. Down you go, though. Eventually. I do want to see what this item is. And I'm going to get into a fight because of it. Alright. Tornado. Bubble the Espeon, that's fine. We Pursuit, Swift, knock you out. Get some cash on the process. Then we take the stairs and run. To the fourth floor we go. There's a good diversity of Pokemon here that I'm interested in. Uh, I went the wrong way. I thought I was uh, Oshawott for some reason. Uh, we gotta get rid of you ASAP. And down you go. Love it. Fifth floor we go. I'm a big fan of where the stairs are in this dungeon because they are nearby. A roll call orb. Something else. Another fickle ribbon. I am going to actually take advantage of the blast seed we just picked up. And I'm going to eat that. 50 points of damage and a new teammate. Uh, let me pull up. I don't. And so I'm recording these all well in advance. So I don't know if anyone has a nickname. But I do want to see if anybody has suggested the Pawniard. Which I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, ooh, I have a fun one. But um, it's going to take a minute for me to make sure I can spell it right. So one quick second. Yes. Love this. We're going to call you en passant. Uh, if you know, uh, then that's great. And if you don't, it's cool. En passant, welcome to the team. And uh, away you go immediately. Oh, hello. Um, oh, look, you're not real. Um, do I have another Blast Seed? Because Blast Seeds do 50 points of damage. That's quite a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it does not look like I do, however. So we'll go with the Tornado instead. That missed. Psybeam does nothing. Fake Tears is not fun. Quick deck knocks you out. Let's head out this way, because that's the only way we can go. And the stairs are right here. It's beautiful. And items? Oh, I'm a big fan for that. Oh, I do know what stun seeds do. Look at this. We are zooming through. Love this. We're on the sixth floor already. And this one's a freebie. Um, Alright, look around for sparkles, folks. 
There's a sleeping... Uh, I won't wake you up. I've been fighting other folks, but that was for levels purposes, and we've got the levels we need. I don't think we need to worry about it too much. I think we could just zoom right by. To the seventh floor we go. And I'm literally in a corner. Not sure why that's the case, but all right. Head up this way. Okay. I'm gonna try and try and force you to come up. Upper does damage. That's at least something. I I I. Uh, the strategies of trying to like manipulate things so that people follow you is not as successful here. Oh, that's helpful. Alright, and uproar is perfect because you don't have to look anywhere. There we go, at least. Alright, let me wander around a little bit before I figure things out. Alright, we can head down here. Head straight down. First choice we'll have. Um, let's keep going down. Head this way. Head around. A health orb. Tortugas here as well. Speaking of, here you are. We'll leave Tornado you. Oh, endured with sturdy. That's why. Okay, I was wondering why it, like, it took like 100 points of damage and survived. It's because of sturdy. That makes sense. Alright, let's do this. Let's do that. And do that. Oh gosh. Uh, hello. Future Sight, what does this do? Little effect again. I need to find somebody. Future Sight sealed is not fun. Metal Claw on me is also not fun. Uh, we'll pursue it, although this isn't going to do much. Tackle doesn't do much, Swift doesn't do much, but we're able to succeed. Steel types are going to be a pain to deal with. Exhibit A right here. Um, you know what? I, I don't want to deal with you, I'll be honest. If we can avoid it, I'd prefer not to worry about uh, Ponyards. I'd love to deal with you. Oh, because some of them have Solid Rock, that makes sense. Alright, you can take it. Um, oh gosh, no, that's not good. Um, here, you take them. Not fun. So you can attack your allies, which is obviously not great. We'll pers uh, Leech Seed here. Metal Claw miss. Pursuit for damage. Uh, Pursuit seal, that's fine. We'll go Leaf Tornado then. Knock you out in the process. Alright, we are, we are, we're succeeding in getting through this. Um, very slowly. Alright, that's doing nothing. Uh, try another side beam there. Leer for lower defenses isn't good either. The razor shell knocks you out though. All right, let's head down. This it? Yes, it is. All right, eighth floor. Last one I think it went to nine full ones. So let's see if we can get things done quicker. Massive amounts of damage now. The leaf tornado does, which is uh, very beautiful. Love to see it. What's this? Uh, an escape orb. All right, we're getting a lot of those. Petrify orb, that's good. I'll tell you right now, we are prepared for a monster house if they ever show up, which so far uh, they haven't, and I'm unsure if they will. I would hope not, but you never know. Assurance, Psy Beam, just doing nothing. Torment suits that... All right, we'll each seed you. Razor Shell there. Knock you out. Beautiful. Uh, we can't pick up the Health Orb. Okay. Um, well then, um, let's uh, let's use it. Why not? There we go. No bad status conditions or stat drops. Love to see that. And we could just hold on to this. Because, uh, like I said, in the last dungeon we tried, I, I used one of these and it just took... It didn't wear off, so... Here's hoping that the same can happen. Alright, you can survive it. Oh, solid rock weakens it. But not enough for us to not need to worry about it. You're a fake. Alright, we'll try this. Drop of accuracy, razor shell miss, quick attack hit. That still does a lot. We've got the team attack if we need it. Though I'm hoping we won't. Alright, where else do we go? Um, you can go up and to the left. Down this way. Um, all right, let's go. Oh wait, no, that's the sparkle. It's a cherry berry. Um, ah, we don't need that. Oh, hello. Goodbye. We're one shotting everybody now. Let's try this. Let's uh, go for a pursuit here. See if that does anything. A leer. Pursuit again. Oop, I'm hitting my mic. Try a leaf tornado. There you go. Somebody leveled up. 
It's Oshawa 22 now. And we are just collecting these stats now. Let's go ahead and update the sheet very quickly. 22. Again, just zooming through this. Though, oh, it's going to be up here, here, right, up. No? Where else am I missing? It's, okay. So we go there. Get through. You know what? We, let's use the team. I know it's not efficient, but we'll use it here just to get rid of the poniard as I now start to bump all the wires here. Or the fake poniard, I suppose. We'll go this way, and this should lead to a room. No, it does not. Okay. I have... Every time I find things, it immediately turns out not to be the thing. All right. Let's go here. Up. Really? This is a room? Wow. All right. Let's set up. We're done. Oh, that's sweet. What are we looking at now? <sighs> oh, boy. Are you okay, Densparce? Yeah, I'm fine. Just seems a little hard to breathe in here, buddy. You know. you know, I've been thinking the same thing. Maybe it's because we come up so high? Hmm, I wonder about that. I don't really believe we've come up so far as that. Far up as that, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, everyone, come take a look at this. Uh, those are floating. Th they're... The, the crystals are floating. The they're floating? The chunks of ice are floating in the air. That's not all. There are other things floating out here and there. So then it's true. Looks like that way. We can't just chalk it up to a baseless rumor anymore. The legendary great crystal that has only been a story up until now. But now that we've come here, it's finally starting to feel like it could be real. Also, these things are floating. Huh? Huh? Did anyone see... Does anyone else see something flash? Oh, it's uh, reflecting the light back. What is this thing, anyway? There are more of them over this way, too. They're so clear and beautiful. Aren't these... Frisms? Uh, yeah, I'm just as clueless as you are, Ash. What, Frisms? That, that, that's right. They're in, they are an incredibly rare kind of treasure. D did you say treasure? Oh my gosh, everybody, empty your pockets. We're, we're filling up with uh, frisms. That, that, that's right, although I don't know if that's necessarily the case. But what a shock. I've never seen this many of them in one place before. Well, discovery, this discovery alone has surely made the trip worth it. Isn't this great, Oshwat? We're surrounded by all this treasure. <laughs> and they aren't just valued for their beauty, you know. Ashwa, can I borrow you for a moment? Do you see that large opening on one end of the frism? Would you try saying something into that opening? I into the... Oh, this is not uh, Dunsparce. Into the hole? Uh, sure, I suppose. Um. Um, uh, we are the doves. Are the doves. Whoa, the, the frism kind of echoed? Ooh, and now the clear part turned cloudy white. What is that? The, the white part. That is Oshawott's voice. Frozen in crystal. My, my, my voice? Oh no, I can't speak anymore. Oh no, I sound like Dunsparce now. That, that's right, although that's not what's supposed to happen. Oshawott, just clear your throat a little bit. Now, why don't you try warming up the prism? Uh, uh, sure, warming it up. Uh, but now you can try touching it or even just blowing your breath on it. The white crystal should melt. Go on, try it. Okay. Um. Ta-da. I wonder what, if your partner was Tepic, would they be confused as well? Or would they be like, all right, let me try a fire. The frozen part began to produce sounds. Um, we are the doves. Hey, that, wait a minute, that's Oshawott's voice. Whoa. So it acts like a voice recorder. I is that really my voice? Sounds kind of strange. But, but these things are really cool. How about it? Now, do you understand why frisms are such special treasures? Yeah, they're totally wicked. I love these things. Let's take a bunch of them home. We can give some to Amolka for staying behind. Yeah, that's a good idea. He's gonna love this. Of course, it would be too greedy of us to take all of them, but uh, we should definitely take some. Well then, let's each collect one. It sounds like a plan to me. All right. Um, uh, well, I'll grab that one. I'll grab this one. Freezing's like, oh, I'll grab this one. Wait a minute. Huh? Wait, this Frizzum. Uh, w w what's going on, Frizzian? What's up? It's, it's, it's recorded. 
This prism is already white. Huh, it's true. Did, did you guys, any of you guys tried it already? No? Mm. That must mean it has a recording already inside. Probably just picked up the sound of the ice creaking or something. Well, we might as well check it out, right? Uh, can, can I do it this time? Be my guest. Go ahead, Densparce. Thanks. Densparce warmed the frizzle. The frozen part of the frizzle began to produce sounds. I... I'll leave this frizzle behind me. Th this is a, a, a Pokemon's voice. This will be the record of my adventure. I've decided to leave this frizzle here as a record. Proving that I reached this glacier palace. And I leave this frizzle and my voice for you. Uh, um, so, so let's see. I, I, I'm really glad that I've come this far. Seeing solid objects floating in the air, standing inside a hollow glacier, and, and this fantastic palace of ice. It, it's been like a dream. Everything seems to sparkle here, and, and every last thing is amazing. This... This means someone made it here before us, doesn't it? Frisian, you good? Uh, huh? Frisian? What's the matter? Frisian, are you... Are you actually cr crying? What? Ver Verizian's crying? The cool collected Verizian is... Uh, Umbreon, I... I know this voice. It's Keldeo. Oh, snap. Plot twist, maybe. I, I, I probably could have predicted this if I actually laid the lines together. But until then, oh my gosh, plot twist. What? Keldeo? You mean that Keldeo? The the great hero, the old friend that isn't a friend, but actually a friend, but not a friend, but that, 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 that guy? The one who sent that letter saying you weren't friends anymore and we wanted to all beat him up for him. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Didn't the letter say he never went to the Great Glacier? So then why is this recording here? I don't know. Let's listen to the rest of this message, shall we? Did we just pause it while Verzim was talking? I say all of that, but this adventure has definitely been one big trial after another. But the fact is, is that I could overcome all of these obstacles to come here today. A and this adventure of mine isn't over yet. I fully intend to keep traveling this path, to keep del delving further into the unknown. If you're playing back this recording and listening to my voice now, you must be another adventurer who has overcome the challenges to reach this spot. And if you are, then you also must be feeling it. The same thrill of exploring what lies beyond, in uncharted territory. What I'm about to see, and what you will soon discover. They may be the same thing, or they may be completely different. But regardless of what is waiting for us up ahead, the heart-pounding thrill that wells up inside of us. That will never change. So I'm off. I wish the best to you, fellow adventurer who might be listening to this message. That seems to be the end of it. I I'm sure of it. That voice was Kelio's. The Kelio that I knew. The, the bright and friendly Kelio. The way he used to be. So Kelio actually made it. To the Great Glacier. But I don't get it. What was the meaning of that letter he sent you? The truth is, is that I never intended to go to the Great Glacier. I just wanted an excuse to get away from you. We aren't friends anymore. I'm real. You do this by heart. Just forget about me. Isn't that what he said in his letter? Yeah, but how do you know all that by heart? <gasps> Wait a minute. But if Keldio really did come to the Great Glacier, could that letter have been a fake? No. The hoof writing in that letter. Hoof writing. <laughs> Makes sense, yeah. It was definitely Keldio's. I... I I think that letter was real. The Keldeo who speaks in this frisum and the Keldeo who sent you that letter. No matter how I look at it, they seem like two totally different Pokemon. This one's like gung ho adventure, yippee ki yay, and then that one's like uh, I'm a loner. Uh, I've got to go on my own path. The darkness but must uh, you know control everything. It doesn't make any sense. But if both of them are the real Keldeo, then it must have been after recording this frisum that Keldeo changed. No, that doesn't make sense. That's that's it. Wait. He changed after seeing whatever lies ahead. Oh, so they're saying... Okay, so Oshawa's suggesting he got here, he recorded the frism, went through, his mind melted, and then decided to become a, a, a level 1 D&D character? I don't... Sure. If something did happen to Galdiel, then the truth might be straight ahead of us. If we continue on our path, we may just discover the truth. Will you be alright, Verzian? Yes. Thank you, Espeon. I'll be fine. I'm sorry for making you all worry. Let's go ahead. The ninth floor. Oh, that was a pit stop. Oh, we got we got more uh, we got more floors to go. 
Well, all right, let's continue going with this uh, adventure. I'm like, yay, dungeon over, and then the game's like, nah, dungeon's still going. Um, was that a pit stop, like, heal pit stop? It was, okay. At least I'm presuming Espeon used... Oh my goodness, there's a lot of Pokemon here. Leave every... You're not a real one. Um, yeah, not fun. Um, actually, wait, let's switch you out. Switch you out. There we go. Or not, don't even have to worry about it. Uh, ooh, all right, let's, in that case, do a little organization here. We'll go figure this out very quickly. All right, let's go this way, down, around, over, back. I don't want to deal with you, though. Try another leaf tornado. Uh, somebody's here. And that somebody went around. Okay. Yeah. All right, I don't like anything that's happening here. Um. All right, let's go just all power up. Boost our attacks, special attacks, the whole nine yards. Raise the shell for big damage. Down you go. Oh, you, that was quick. Um, I'll be honest, the Rossberry probably won't do much, but all right, sure, why not? Try a Leaf Tornado. Complete and utter domination here. Razor Shell, also domination. And away we go. Let's continue forward. Uh, the item you got good? Eh, uh, Escape Warp. Nothing, really. Oh, gosh. Uh, that did not do much. It's Pursuit, I suppose. We can bide our time with weaker moves. All right, and continue on from here. All right, I think I can take you on. You're not real. Oh, nope, not not dealing with that. And yet I dealt with it anyway. Um, Leech Seed you. A Leer's fine. We'll Pursuit for big damage. Uh, come on, stay up, stay up, stay up. The sheer volume of enemies is uh, rude. Here, you can take it. Assurance knockout. Oh gosh. Um, future sight for big damage, maybe? Good damage? Good enough for me. Um, grab this. What's this? Uh, that's not going to be needed. Um, oh, something's happening. Big damage there. Is this a good one? The Blast Seed. I actually want this. Um, I will. We don't need this. Alright, that's not the way to go. Let's try this way. Try going up that way. No? Oh, that means it's got to be down there. Alright, I, I I knew your attack went up, but I would prefer not to deal with that. Um, Let's go Leaf Tornado. Sturdy. Side Beam for extra damage down south. Roll out is not good. That's not good either, but we'll do an A attack here to knock you out. Big damage there. Alright, let's drop down here. And we got a level up. Espeon's now 26. Love that. And let's see what we can do here real quick. Able to zoom through that. Now the 10th... Oh, we're at an official checkpoint now. I feel like we've got to be pretty close to the top by now. By continuing on this path, will I finally find the Greek Glacier? So I mean, it even exists. No one knows what it actually is. Now I'll finally have all the answers I've been searching for. Let's do it, Adorn. We're nearly there. It's just a feeling, but I think we're getting close to the top. Adorn, just a bit further. Gosh, what? We've made it pretty far up. We're almost there, Adorn. Let's do it. We've come pretty far, haven't we? <laughs> really is a bit tough to breathe. <laughs> I feel like that's hinting towards something. Maybe I'll discover the truth up ahead. If I just keep going, I'll finally know. And introspective, as always, for Azina's. All right, um, let's deposit items, because we have a lot of them. I don't need that and that. I'm going to keep the page of orange berries. We'll have that. I don't think we'll need the rosts. We'll keep that. I think that's fine. We don't need the escapes. We'll keep that. I'm actually going to store the the duplicates like that. Let's do that. Cool. Money can be deposited as well. 
And I think this is a good place to stop. We'll stop it on the cliffhanger here in the midsection. Next time we go that way um, and see what happens from there. Thank you everyone for listening, watching, and supporting in any way, shape, or form that you do. Until next time, take care.